guys, what's up? I know I do look tired, womp, and I don't like that, so that's a bad thing, of course. Anyways, look at me, I'm weird. I was cleaning the house, but I'll show you how to look more awake with my signature look. First, you have to obviously drink water to hydrate, and usually, of course, the first thing I do is put on chapstick, and then my brightener, as we all know from Mally, and of course, it's the lighter shade. Oh my god, it's so yellow! Okay, then you just spread it around like I usually do. Oh, I look weird. Ah! Yeah, I look ugly. No wonder why I'm single. Just kidding. Anyways, all you need to do is just blend with my beauty blender. Damp it. Alrighty, then I use my MAC concealer. Of course, you gotta warm it up. Oh, I hit pan. Oh, well. So you spread it around. Alrighty, next I use my highlighter uh, from Maybelline. Not really highlight highlighter, but it's a concealer. But I use it as highlighter. And then I put on the bridge of my nose and my forehead. And then my cupid's bow on my chin. Had not go seek anyone? Woo! I look like I'm weird, which I am. Anyways, all you need to do is blend with Beauty Blender, of course. Ah! Okay, Sam. Okay, then I just catch crazily a concealer. I use Fit Me Concealer. I'm 210. And then I just twist and not buff, but like a pressing motion. And then I'm too excited to blend. I don't know why. Then I use bronzer from Avon. I don't know what's it called. I don't feel like reading. All right, then I take a brush from Eagle Tools and I use it for contouring just slightly on my hollows of my cheeks. Alright, and then I would go along my forehead to just make that slightly smaller. And then I'll just blend out on the hollows of the cheeks and then I would go under for my double chin. Alright, then I take this bad boy out from Physicians Formula and the color is pink. Oh, it's so cute with hearts. And then I take my angled blush brush. Hello Sam! Okay, then I put on the apples of my cheeks. With a leftover color on my brush, I usually put it around my face just to add more color to my face. I'll next be using the Lorex primer and I'll put it all around my eyelids. I usually put it under too. And then, what's next, Sam? And then I'll take my brows, I'm gonna define them. I'm the color Dark from Benefit. Love this stuff. And then I'll take my favorite angle brush and I'm just gonna shape my eyebrows. Now I'm using the Anastasia Clear Gel. Oh, I love this stuff. It's like super glued to your eyebrows. So my eyebrows won't go everywhere and it's just be all nasty. That looks good. I like my eyebrows there. Okay, then I'm going to use a Paint Pot and Painterly from MAC. And I'm going to just put it on my eyelids just to neutralize my eyelids because they look translucent. So I'm just going to hide the veins and stuff. Oh, hello, darling. Someone came back home from work, finally. I miss you! Baby's always giving me kisses on the head. So adorable! And he's like, are you recording? And I was like, yo. I was telling him I was in the middle of recording and he was like, oh crap, I'll leave you alone. So I was like, okay. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Highlighter. Yeah, I like the matted part. I don't like the sparkly kind. I just, I don't know why I love matte. It just makes it a clean cut. And all I do is take a concealer brush from Sigma and then I'm just gonna blend that bad boy out so my eyebrows will pop. Now I'm using the Lorac palette. I love this palette. With the angle crease brush, I take taupe and then I just sweep it on my crease area but also a little bit above so it could just blend pretty well. I took the concealer brush again 
and then I got my Laura palette over here and then I took the cream color then I also put on my lid now what you didn't see is I actually took the white also on my lid because I didn't think cream was light enough for my lid so the next scene you'll see my lids are actually lighter I took the brush again with taupe and then I just blend it out so I won't have any harsh lines which no one likes and then I took my Rummel Nude, I think, oh, it needs to be sharpened. So I sharpened it with my Urban Decay Sharpener. Love this sharpener even though it's $10. Oh, I know, so expensive, but it's so worth it. Oh look, it's sharpened. I put in my waterline. I usually put this on my waterline so I could look more awake and it's more natural looking than white because white is actually too harsh for my face color. Now I'm taking Black Track from MAC, love this stuff, and I'm also using this silicone brush I'm using for the first time, which I totally hate, please don't use it guys. And, but I'm using my favorite brush, Ingle Brush, and I'm just going to line to my eyeballs. do my signature eyeliner look I just follow the line from the lower lash line and then I just drag it out and you always have to make sure the, the two lines are even that's the key and then hello from another angle Sam and now I just drag it into the line that we already made So just to show you guys what I did. So I just drag it out from my lower lash line and then I just drag it into the eyeliner that you already made and then you fill it in. All right, now I'm just, I'm just gonna go to the other side. Hello there. So again, drag it out from the lash line and then you're just gonna drag it in and then you're gonna fill it in once you have your perfect shape. getting smoke palette out and then I'm gonna take a baby brush and then I'm actually gonna get a color what is it called Sam it's called backdoor now I'm just gonna put in my lower lash line just to give my eyes more of a depth effect you know you know you know I know you know cuz it looks good And I'm gonna use the mascara from Maybelline, it's called Big Eyes. And then I'm gonna use the side where it has the smaller bristles for my lower lash line. It just works easier that way if you do start on the bottom lash line so you won't get mascara on the top. Now it's time for the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I love this mascara, it's to die for. But it clumps easily so I'll show you later how to unclump it. To get more mascara, I usually swirl it. I hate when people pump it. That's a big no-no because it will dry out your mascara faster. So I just take off the excess by swirling it around the stopper and then just reapply my mascara. Easy as that. No one needs to pump it. No one needs to buy an expensive mascara again because you like pumping your mascara, which is a big no-no. So please do not do that. It's a big pet peeve. And now, I am using the eyelash comb. I got this at Meijer for $1.99. It's pretty, pretty cheap. And so I just comb my lashes. And then I take a NARS highlighter, which is called Alpatross. I love this highlighter. Now with my fingers, I just usually put it on the higher part of my cheekbones just to make it higher and then I usually put it on my nose bridge then I 
take a MAC color and it's also matted. It's called Blank Type. I love, personally love this color as a highlighter. I'm just gonna put it in the inside of my eyes just to make my eyes look brighter and pop more and just make sure you blend it well because you don't wanna have like this white circle on your face. take Urban Decay's Lip Primer Potion and then I'm just going to put it all over my lips so my lip color will stay in place and it won't bleed and won't slide around, which is obviously a good thing. And then I'm going to take Kinda Sexy, love this lipstick and then it's also a matted color. lip gloss in the color streak love this color it's nice and pink and but it's very very natural pink and I'm just gonna put it right on top kind of sexy just to have a little sparkle little punch to your face you know just a little bit alrighty guys I hope you enjoy this look make sure you like subscribe I know you enjoyed it so I guess I'll see you later look at that wink Cling.